Hello, Almaden Valley. You won't believe what's going on. Stay tuned, let's get into the data. Hi, I'm Teresa Wellman with HomeownerExperience.com, your local San Jose, California realtor who lives and specializes in Almaden Valley. So we're gonna jump into what's going on in the actual market. It has been so exciting and so active in Almaden Valley, you're gonna wanna watch this. So jump into the data with me and let's get started. At these numbers here on the left, the median price increased 22% from January to February and the 41% from year over year. Obviously, this is not, um, this is a little bit of a funny data thing that February last year was a really low winter number, and this year, spring is already here. So the numbers have um, not caught up to each other, and it's not truly 41% in the market appreciation, but year over year, that is what the data is showing. The number of sales are down 21% and 35% year over year. And that's again, just because we don't have the inventory, but we'll look at the pending numbers, which is pretty exciting. So with this really high demand, if you recall last year in 2020, we sold more homes in Almaden Valley than we have several years prior. So I see that demand and desirability for Almaden Valley still continuing to increase, which is really high demand. And with this extremely low record supply, we've caused a perfect storm and average prices are 109.2% of asking price. Wow. So the lowest single family sale in February was actually 1.6 million. And there were eight sales in the $1.9 to $2.3 million range. So a total of 11 closed sales in the single family market. Um, there was 17 in February. So we're just really low. Now let's look at the actual chart to give you an idea of relativity. So the prices always are a little up and down in Almaden Valley, but typically we follow that blue line, which is the median, which shows a little less volatility than the orange average line, just because the pure numbers that we sell in Almaden is not as high. But even this blue median line shot way up because I told you how many high-end sales uh, sold, and they weren't really high-end. It's just the average Almaden home is really appreciated in value. And let's look at this inventory relative, right? The inventory has been very low since October in winter levels. And if we look back these last five years, only one or two months did we have that in 2017 to 2018. And we've been sustaining that for several months, which is just not with the high demand and the very low inventory caused this price jump. Look at the pending sales. So we are getting some inventory on the market, but things are selling so fast, they're just not sitting on the shelves. So the pending sales are very high and way up. So there's currently sitting about 25 days of inventory, but that's with the closed numbers. And as I pointed out, the pending numbers are extremely strong. So if we calculate that based on the pendings, we only have 11 days of inventory. And that's what it feels like, that everything is selling right away that first week. And uh, buyers just need to be racing to get to see anything and way overbid to even be able to compete. Pending sales are 125% up from the previous month. Well, inventory is flat which has got that overbidding happening and the market just needs inventory. There's currently 10 single family homes active and 27 pending, which means we're 73% of the market is in contract. That is really high. We don't normally see that. And last month it was only 54%. So there are currently 11 listings, including the townhomes and single families. And the price range is 1.05 million for a townhome all the way up to 3.5 million. So if you think of how small of a selection that is and that huge price range, you understand the intensity of the market. Um, you know, if you have a buyer in the 1.5 to 2 million price range, they're only seeing a couple options and they're all fighting for that. And 10, 12 buyers are fighting for that. There are five coming soon on the market, which is promising, but typically this time of year, we would see 15 to 20. So we are just still extremely low. We had 28 new listings in February, counting single families and uh, townhomes, but 25 of those are already pending with the longest days on market of only 10. So I uh, guess the inventory is at record low. Um, we haven't seen this kind of low inventory sustained for so long in the history that I show. We're having constant showings because of this demand, 10 plus offers, most homes selling $250,000 or more over the asking price. 
And look at that pending number, that dotted blue line. Again, just really, really strong. So prices will definitely set new records with March closings because I can tell you the, the properties that are pending right now are extremely strong sales prices. And buyers are coming in with no contingencies, enough cash to pay the difference in the appraisal, and extremely competitive to try to get your property. So buyers, you must prepare to compete. You have to prepare your loan. Non-contingent offers are the only ones chosen and they're pretty much the norm even in all the 10 offers. So you must get your loan approved before you make an offer. So how to choose a mortgage lender, watch that video. Sellers, you need to know what to expect when selling and how to prepare. There's a video on that. And then if you wanna get into more specifics on the actual market today and how I can help you, please do reach out. I'm happy to set up a phone call, a Zoom call, or an in-person consultation. Thank you for watching. Thank you.